Hello YouTube, this is Alexis the Transgender Duelist and today I'm going to be bringing you a reaction to the ban list. So, I know I'm like, I think an hour or two late, I'm not really sure how long the ban list has been out. I was playing Overwatch, so uh, sue me. <laughs> anyway, I don't really know anything about the ban list other than the person who informed me it was out, decided to spoil that Firewall isn't banned, so... I'm going to go on a limb and just say that Goki Extra Link is going to still be meta, so... Yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and just actually get right onto the list right now. Okay, first band card is Samasar Lotus. I mean, it has an FTK enabled. If they're going to keep Firewall around, it might as well be banned, but I think that's kind of a backwards way of hitting it, but whatever. Next, we have Nightmare Goblin. They better have hit something in Goki, because otherwise that's not going to be enough to really stop them. I mean, I know a lot of people were saying it needs to be banned, but frankly, I never really agreed with it, because Goblin is one of those cards that only really works when your deck is already working. Like, yeah, in response to the meta decks, so that's most of the time, but that's only because, you know, the deck is just completely unchecked right now. Oh, wait, we have another banned card here. Uh, MX Saber Invoke. Okay, that's actually a pretty nice hit, because Invoker has always been one of those cards that just enables a lot of cheesy combinations and plays. I mean, it's going to hurt some rogue decks, but it's, I feel it's a necessary evil. And looks like they're not banning anything else. Okay, let's go on to the limited list. We got A Assault Core. I assume that's to help with the uh, looping of it with Firewall Dragon. I see that they're just doing everything they can to just completely keep Firewall in the game, even though it's probably not a good idea. Next, we have Element. Wait. 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 I want to make sure I'm not seeing things here. Dear God, they actually put Stratos to one. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, they actually put Stratos to one. I'm not going to lie, I wasn't expecting this to happen until, at the very least, we got the Legendary Heroes uh, decks that have... When did that come out? I think that comes out, like, in a couple months or something. I'm not really 100% sure, but congratulations, Konami. You actually did something that I wasn't expecting. I mean, I also wasn't expecting you to ban Goblin, but that's just me personally. Okay, so they brought... Wait, Morphing Jar? Isn't that... Yeah, Morphing Jar is the one that you discard a hand, draw five. Okay, so there's going to be at least a few people that do decide to pick that up and begin playing... Uh, what's that deck called? Empty Jar, I think? Yeah, Empty Jar. It also helps out some rogue strategies. You can also use it in some cheesy deck out decks, and you can use it in things like Dark Worlds and Dark World Danger, and maybe even Danger if it becomes a functioning deck on its own. So I definitely like having Morphing Jar around. It's not going to break anything. Heck, I would even make the argument that Fiber Jar wouldn't break anything, but I can actually understand why Fiber Jar would still be banned. Okay, we got five of them here, so let's see what the heck is here. We got Heavy, heavy Metal Foes Electromite. That's perfectly fine. I'm okay with Electromite being at one, just because it enables so many insane combinations. So this is perfectly fine, in my opinion. We got Cyframe Lord Omega. That's fine. It hurts Cyframes, but Cyframes is debatably not even a deck, so that's, that's fine. Wait, they actually... Evil Oh, <laughs> okay, this is actually, this is good. This is actually a way to fight against the ex overextension that Yu-Gi-Oh has become, because as of right now, the only way we have the fight overextension is basically just evenly matched and nothing else. Like, Exiton at least gives you a way to, like, for example, say your opponent sets, like, seven cards face down, or summons out, like, an extra link, and they give you one zone with, like, whatever, you can just blow them out right then and there. So this is a good card. It's definitely a card that we needed right now, although 
I'm noticing nothing that actually, I, I'm noticing that Exalt hasn't been hit, so does that mean that Goki basically didn't get any hits on them? I, mean, I guess Goblin's a hit, but they don't even need the uh, extra normal summon to extra link sometimes. Anyway, we got a hero lives. I don't really... And I guess I guess that's a fair thing to do, because heroes are a deck that just basically never dies, so this might just be a way to stop them from ever getting out of hand. And with Firewall Dragon, it's definitely something that could happen. I forget, is that a normal summon or on special summon? I, I forget, someone correct me if it's on normal summons or special summons or any summons. And then we got Card Destruction, I believe that's the one that just discards both players' hands. And... I guess they're trying to help Danger uh, get off the ground, which is definitely a step in the right direction. Most card destruction is not really going to break anything. Like, it might it might hurt some decks when they have, like, a really good hand, but they're going second and it gets hit by card destruction. But overall, I don't think it's going to break anything. Okay, we got two more. We got Skystriker Mega Hornet Drones. I think that's from the OCG, I'm not 100% sure. And then we got Super Polymerization. Uh, it's, it's an okay card. I mean, it's a little bit touch and go, but it's searchable by, by the Predator Plant engine. Uh, it can help you out in extra links, so Goki does have a little bit of counterplay there, which is good because it doesn't look like they did anything to necessarily stop Goki extra link. They're just trying to bring back more answers to answer Goki extra link, which I don't think it's going to necessarily be enough, but we'll see what happens. Because I do know for a fact that with this ban list, as I've seen it right now, Goki Extra Link is still going to be one of the best decks in the game. It won't necessarily be the, the best, because Invoker was part of the reason why it was the best, and Goblin definitely helped when you got hit by hand traps. But it's still going to be one of the best decks, just because you still have a two-card Extra Link combination, so... Well, we'll see how that works out in the coming format. And we got Cosmo Dark Destroyer at 2. I'm, I'm okay with this. Claw by the Grave is at 2. Uh, that's fine, I guess. I mean, I don't like it, but I can definitely agree with it. You got Limiter Remover. That's that's fine. I mean, it's, it's an OTK enabler, but it's not going to break anything. Scapegoat, that's fine. Terraforming should be at it should be at one, not two, but I guess I can't really complain. Nefertic is no longer on the list. We got Towers. Perfect. Best your disc commander. I assume we got the errata. If not, why the heck is this thing gonna be at three? Burial from a different dimension. Forget what that card even does. Uh, Ring of Destruction. Why was this card still at one? Was that two? I forget. Uh, it was a, it was semi limited. So uh, <clears throat> let me go ahead and think on the ban list. I mean, it definitely did a lot of things right, but I do think that they should have done a little bit to stop the extra link problem instead of just mildly setting it aside. Because Goblin, yeah, a lot of people like to say it's part of the reason why extra linking was so easy, but let's be honest here. Firewall Dragon is the reason for that. Goblin just allows you to extend your combos further, and even if you don't have the extra normal summon, you can still extra link just as easily. It's just going to be, you're going to have a weaker field overall is the only difference. And you're not going to be able to recycle, uh, what's her name, Nightmare, Nightmare Corruptor, Iblis Effects. That's like the only real big difference. Like once you change that, you can still extra link, as we've seen with the, uh, what's it that called, Ninjas, I think? I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. Maybe I'll put it in the description if I remember what it is. But I, I definitely like the list. We got Exoton Knight. We got Stratos. We got Morphing Jar, Car Destruction. So there's definitely a lot of good things there. Scapegoat is not a 2, which is fine. I mean, I only run 2 in a lot of my decks anyway, but I think eventually we'll go down to 1. Terraforming is at 2, which is fine. I only ran 2 of it in most of my decks anyway. <coughs> But overall, I think this list is definitely going to change up the meta a little bit. I don't think it's going to stop it from being extra link turbo, but I definitely think that it's going to be 
more diverse because we have more options to counter the extra link now. We have evenly matched, we have Exoton Knight, and that's just a really good place to go. So let's go ahead and see what this is going to be. This is Alexis, and I'm signing out.